Hey everybody. Uh, so I was cleaning up the house, getting ready for some relatives to visit, and I found this old uh, Siegel uh, rim cylinder that I had put aside ages ago because it was just so filthy and dirty and I, I couldn't be bothered to clean it up so I could pick it. Um, but it's clean now and uh, the relatives are gone, so let's see if we can pick this. It's nothing really special, it's just old uh, five pin and it's old enough that it doesn't really contain any security pins. Uh, now the Siegel brand is still around and they do some pretty solid uh, low and mid-range locks and they still do them a uh, decent amount of quality. So let's uh, start off with the thick Peterson pry bar and a standard thickness uh, small hook because we've got this nice wide open keyway to work with. And so we're going to reach in there, feel around, try to find our binding pin. Now because uh, this doesn't have any security pins, it can actually be a little tricky sometimes finding the binding pin. But we're out near the back. This is pin 4 or 5. It's giving us some uh, resistance. Just got to make sure we're not caught up on the warding. Feeling around. Okay, that was, I think, pin two. All right. All right, so I think we've got one, two, and three set now. Let's keep moving back. Let's see what we've got here. And we've got it open. So it's only two minutes. Let's get this guy open. Get the vice out of the way. This is the uh, tailpiece. You can see it's pretty well crusted with paint. So I think I got it out of uh, the door of an old apartment. But Get in there. Tighten up a little bit. And on focus. You know. Okay, I don't have a key for this, so I can't afford to screw up getting this C clip off, but there we go. Let's get that over there. And you'll notice it has this deep cross cut in here that the uh, rim tail piece is supposed to fit into, like that. Uh, so we're going to have to turn it to just about 45 degrees off from where it locks and get standard flat tip follower. Stick it in there. And there we go. So we'll start by dumping the plug. It's one, two, three, four, and five. And one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, some of the springs have come out. That's fine. So, let's take a look at the plug there. It's old and a bit, uh, it's been pretty well cleaned. I mean, I've dumped it in a whole bunch of WD-40 and let it sit for quite a while. And uh, right, come on, cooperate. So there you go. Uh, very nice finish on the pins. Not very worn, uh, but they're all standard. 
so nothing really to write home about, but still, nice, uh, nicely made, good workmanship, good quality, and, uh, you know, very, very sturdy. This thing gave uh, probably at least 30 years of good service before I took it out and replaced it with something a bit more high security. So, until next time, have fun and happy picking.